<laughs> Freaking hilarious. Andrew is dead. He's dead guy. He is gone. We got rid of that guy. <laughs> we have to uh, answer each of these questions or statements to the best of our ability. Now, the twist in the game, since it's called Movie BS, is that throughout this entire game, each of us can decide whether we are going to tell the truth or lie. That knows me and they know Nacho. I defend Nacho Libre with my life. Uh, I think you're lying. There's no way you saw Movie S3 in the theater and you remember that. I don't. Okay. Ready? Unless you, like, it, unless it came back to theaters. <laughs> this episode is all over. Oh, jeez. Welcome to Backseat Directing. Where we talk about movies, TV shows, comics, and more. We're your hosts, Andrew and Aaron. And we release episodes every Monday and Thursday. And on this episode, we're playing a game. Movie BS. Three, two, one. Action. True fans of the show know that you are not Andrew, but you are, in fact, Justin. Yep, yep. Welcome to the show, Justin. Thank you. I'm glad to be back in uh, crazy fashion today. That uh, the intro was very clean. Oh, yeah. First try. Probably the best one. I mean, it's probably better than your first episode. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> yeah. It's probably better than any time that we've ever done our intro. <laughs> so what's funny, now that I'm thinking about it, is uh, your latest short film has come out already yeah so this episode kind of plays into that <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's freaking hilarious andrew is dead He's dead guy he is gone we got rid of that guy <laughs> uh so you don't have to worry about you know hating on his takes anymore so boom the world is level it's balanced now perfectly balanced yes that's all things should it's a be. beautiful space now <laughs> There's no more negativity out there on the internet anymore. Oh, man, what a, what a day that would be if there wasn't anything like that. But For those of you who don't know, we did just release our short film and a behind-the-scenes video of how we made it all in one day. And it's called Bury Alive. It's listed in the link below, so you can check that out. Uh, Justin made a little cameo in that. With no hat. In that video. That's right. He had no hat, so you might not recognize him. You might not want to watch either. But <laughs> So, Justin, this was a very last-minute podcast episode yeah. in terms of knowing that we were filming this today. Mm -hmm. But you have a little game that we're going to play. I believe you have a list of 30 different movie questions. And what are we going to be doing with those questions? So we basically, on the spot, there's no prep. We have to uh, answer each of these questions or statements to the best of our ability. Now, the twist in the game, since it's called Movie BS, is that throughout this entire game, each of us can decide whether we are going to tell the truth or lie. And what makes it even more fun um, is that after each round, we have, to that we have to determine if the other person told the truth or lied. If we guess correctly, we get a point. If we guess incorrectly, we lose a point. If we both are at a stalemate and, you know, that happens, then neither of us get points. So it's completely random and kind of we don't know what's going to happen, but I think it could be fun and could spark up a little bit of a controversy, maybe. Yeah, I have not looked at what we're going to be <laughs> answering today. So I'm going to have to come up with my lies and or truths on spot. Mm -hmm. Uh Again, there's 30 of these. Yeah. So, um, I'm trying to get our little form here. <laughs> Spilled it the same way twice. No, I just copied and pasted oh. it. Oh. Yeah. Everyone. <laughs> but... No one can see the screen. I wish they could. <laughs> for anyone who knows, I cannot spell. <laughs> and I can also not type <laughs> or speak. And that's a terrible, that's a, that's a trifecta that you don't want to have. <laughs> but hey, I, I've made do. That's why I work out, okay? But you guys are on like episode 230, so it, it doesn't even matter because you that's guys correct. are great. All right, great. I finally got it. Here we go. This is on the screen now. So we have Aaron and Justin's and our points. The way this will work is we're going to be trying to give a answer that's either a lie or a truth. 
If you think the other person is lying, you call BS. If you are correct, that person loses all of their points, right? We could do that. Yeah, let's, or let's they, do that. Okay. Yeah. But if you call BS and you're wrong, you lose all your points. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Is that how we're doing it? Yep. And if, if you get stuff right, you gain a point. Yeah. If you lie, you gain a point. Yeah. I don't know if these points like balance out properly where we're actually going to be getting points. We might end up both with negative, but <laughs> <laughs> but it'll be fun. And then you guys can play along too and see if we're lying or telling the truth. Yeah. <laughs> we probably could have thought out the point system a little more, but you know, it'll all work out. We talked about this idea 10 minutes before I arrived, so. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be fun. All right, yeah. what's the first the first question here? First question is your favorite movie of all time. Ah, okay. I got mine. I got mine. Uh, three, two, one, say yours. Inception. The Batman. I know you, and I know your taste in movies. And we've also done a move, uh, an episode recently where we broke down all of Nolan's films and ranked them. Yep. And that was at the top of your Nolan list. <laughs> <laughs> and you also bring this up. Pretty often yeah. that Inception is your favorite movie of all time. So I'm yeah. going to have to believe you here on this one. Yeah. Yep. Um, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> There's no hiding that one. That's why I couldn't lie on that one. Now, you could still be lying because we haven't locked in our answer. Oh, well, we'll, but I'm we'll pretty see. sure I know you're not. Um, what about mine? Yours, I, I'm pretty confident that you are also telling the truth because on multiple occasions you have referenced the Batman being one of the best movies ever and also multiple occasions it's on the wall behind me yep and that also helps uh that it's your favorite movie of recent years which also holds weight to it um and on our nolan episode that we did that i did with you um we talked about the dark knight and you said the batman's better than dark knight and i think also said something about it's one of the best films ever so i, I want to say that you are also telling the truth all right ready to lock in our our answers lock in. all right three two one locked in I was telling the truth. I was telling the no truth. No surprise. <laughs> All right. We made that one easy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we both don't get points on that one? Is that how we're doing it? Uh, yeah. I think it stays at zero for both of us. Okay. Because it's the same. Either we both get points or we both get no points. We're still tied. So. Right. But should we be accumulating points each time so we're not... Uh... I guess, yeah, for the sake of maybe not ending at zero at the end. <laughs> maybe we both get one. <laughs> Okay, let's give each other one because no one likes a low scoring game. <laughs> That's why in football, a touchdown's worth six points. <sighs> so it's not just one to nothing. That's a whole different conversation for another day. <laughs> okay, so points one to one, one pretty one. simple. What is the next question? The next one is the best movie of all time. Mm. This is. Um... This is harder. This is harder. I feel like it's gonna be harder for me to to guess yours than it is for you to guess mine. I got my answer. Okay. I think I have <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is this is a lot harder, dude. I don't know. Wouldn't it be my favorite? That's how it's I've always to, thought it's hard about to it. distinguish the best versus yeah. your favorite. I've always looped them into the same category. Um, and I know there's people who don't, but I feel like those people who don't just try and make it harder on themselves <laughs> to pick. Or they maybe want to mention two movies when that's brought up, but I just want to focus on one. Okay. Um, gosh, I don't know. Okay. Ready? You got it? Nope. You don't have, oh, <laughs> oh, man. I feel like you you have the high ground right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Okay. Ready? Inception. Oh, so you're, you are going with the same. <laughs> I have to. I have to. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> well, I'm going to say prisoners. Man, so you, your explanation's pretty easy, right? You think yeah. it's your it's obviously your favorite. Mm -hmm. You told the truth on that. You also think it's the best and 
your favorite's the best, yeah. obviously. Why would you not like the absolute best? Yes. Mine. <laughs> well, I also understand yours. If it is the truth, I understand it. But if it's a lie, it's a very good lie. Because I know you love that movie. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's got an amazing story. Mm -hmm. You haven't seen it, right? Nope. It's on my list. Maybe in the next maybe in the next two weeks I'll I'll try and watch that one. Well, I'll tell you why it's not uh my favorite, but why I think it's still the best. Mm -hmm. So the Batman is my favorite because of the character and the world that it's in, in combination with an amazing story, great cinematography and sound design and all that stuff. But I think prisoners is the best because it's grounded in like true storytelling and filmmaking. It's not relying on this. Comic I don't know. Book world. Yeah. Right. This IP that's existed forever. It's, yeah. it's pure storytelling in the movie medium mm -hmm. is how I would phrase it. Making my job hard. Yeah. All right. I think I got my guess. All right. Lock in? Yep. Well, we have to say, do you think I'm telling truth or lying? I think you're telling the truth. I, th I think you are telling the truth as well. Okay. Locking it in? Lock it in. Three, two, one. Tell the truth. I lied. <laughs> I think... This ain't fair! <laughs> I think the best movie ever would kind of be the... Um, one that the most amount of people like high hold in highest regard mm -hmm. because that's kind of like the whole point of a movie, right? Is to get people invested into the story. So the more people that are, mm -hmm. you know, a fan of said movie, the better that movie is. So I don't necessarily know what that movie would be, but probably like whatever is on the top of IMDb. You have or, to pick one though. I would I would say, right? Yeah, well what's that's what I would that's my criteria. So what's the number one movie on IMDb? I don't know, but I would assume I've heard, you know, Godfather, there's Shawshank that's up there. Um IMDb top one hundred. I am Is that cheap though? Did you just pull a fast one on me? If you don't want to count it, we I don't feel have like, to count well, it. If you ha if you had another movie in mind, then I would probably be fine with it. I just I just didn't know what the top... It is Shawshank. Shawshank. And The Godfather. Look at that. Yeah. McNeil, yeah. where you at? Oh, The Dark Knight. Does. I was going to say The Godfather yeah. as the movie that I would pick, but, have, yeah, but yeah. I haven't seen it. Yeah. So I feel like... It's hard both ways. Yeah. So that's my... <laughs> Do you want to count it or not? I mean, <laughs> this game was so thrown together at the last minute. I say I don't we're think... we're having fun. I, well, I only have one point. I was going to say, I shouldn't lose all my points, <laughs> but I'm only going to lose one if that. So if I had like 15, then I would say no. But I, okay. I, I, I could lose I could lose a point. So I get a point, you lose yeah. all of your points. Yep. Or I guess one. Which, thank the Lord, is just one. We're making these rules up as we go, guys. And yeah, maybe yeah. eventually we'll like iron out this yeah. game. <laughs> yep. Because maybe losing just one point for getting it wrong would be okay. Yeah. Which right now, that's what we did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, what's our next tough. one? <laughs> okay. The movie you can watch over and over and over and over. Mm. Are these all just going to be the same answer? <laughs> I, that's the tough part. Like, I, feel, I don't know. Because I know I've also mentioned a few movies, or like one or two specific movies that I could watch like on repeat. Mm -hmm. but there is like probably at least 10 to 20 that I could say the same thing about. Um, so it's like, which one am I going to pick out of those 10 yeah. that you might not know about or that you might think I'm telling the truth about or. Yeah. So basically what we have to do right now is pick which movie we would actually rewatch over and over and over. Yeah. And then we pick another movie or that same movie. And that's the one we tell the opposite. Yep. And then we have to just trust each other that this yeah. one over here was the, the actual one that we would watch over and over. I think I have one in mind, whether it's a truth or a lie. I definitely have one in mind. Um, 
I also have a second in mind. So I just got to see, think, I know which one is the one. Yeah. Do you want to lie to me or do you want to tell the truth? Yeah, basically. I, I don't know. I, <laughs> I can see into your soul. <laughs> Cover with a <the> beard. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh, Andrew's calling. Oh boy. He's going to find out. Hey, bro, you are live on air with Justin. Literally live on air? Am I on, like, Cinema 3D right now, or is this a joke? Uh, that was a good plug for Cinema 3D. We actually hadn't mentioned that yet, which we probably should have, but we're actually recording on backseat directing. Uh, we're 15 minutes in. What are you guys talking about? We're playing a game called Movie BS that we just made up, <laughs> and our point system that we made is very flawed, but we're figuring it out as we go. Episode. Exactly. Do you guys need like need like a phone a friend or something right now? Uh, uh, not that type of game, but we do appreciate you joining. Just, right, just, I mean, just. I feel just, like the podcast is missing a beautiful face right now, but at least it has it a beautiful is. voice. It, it's 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 replaced by one less less charismatic and less beautiful for sure. Oof. Maybe a little more positive though. <laughs> Um, well, this is a little NSFW, but I need to know if I can shower at your house before we film the episodes that I am going to be in. <laughs> Absolutely, brother. As long as I can join you. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm, uh, what's your shower? I, I hate to deny a host his own, you know, customs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the house in a minute here. I'll see you in like an hour. All right, man. Sounds good. Uh, yes, brothers. Have fun. <laughs> Bye. I don't know how well his phone call actually showed up on the recording, but hopefully good enough to keep it in. <laughs> voice isolation just completely removes it. Yeah, I'm going to have to like cut that part of the clip and turn off voice isolation. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's uh, remind everyone of the category, and that is movies you can watch over and over. We mm. both have a movie in mind that is the truth for us, yes. and now we're deciding to pick a movie that's either the same or different and choose to lie. What do you got? Okay, I have. Damn, there's so many, bro. Um, I have Nacho Libre as my pick. <laughs> Wait, mine is Across the Spider Verse. Explain your pick, sir. Explain my pick. I've seen Nacho Libre. That's our Christmas movie. <laughs> okay. um, so, Not our, but your family. Uh, yeah, yeah, my family's, and it's turned into a movie that me and, well, me and my wife, when we were dating, that was the first movie we watched together. Um, and This obviously, part better not be a lie. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, Playing with my heartstrings here. <laughs> obviously, when I was little, I, I can't remember when that movie came out, but like whenever it came out, we, as a family, watched it at home. All loved it. We're dying laughing, and it just became one of those movies that me and my sister and like my parents too. Whenever they were home and we all had time to watch together, we would just watch the entire thing, love every minute of it, and to the point where me and my sister could quote like the entire movie at one point. Um, luckily, that transitioned into girlfriend that actually worked out, and fiance, and marriage, and still we haven't watched it this year and we'll say well that. it's not christmas yet it's not christmas yet. that's true <laughs> but Did yeah you forget that it was a christmas movie we had two movies we watched every christmas it was nacho libre and a medea christmas okay no, no one elf one. though elf was surfaced in like the last four years of my life okay, okay. um but yeah so i've watched nacho libre it's probably one of my most rewatched movies ever and I can't find a thing that I can enjoy. I think enjoy. me and the audience know you're lying. I mean, <laughs> you could call someone and you could ask them and tell you. Call <laughs> someone. <laughs> right. Phone a friend. Um, my... Ask anyone that knows me and they know Nacho. I defend Nacho Libre with my life. <laughs> Mine would be across the Spider-Verse because of how captivating the story is, but also the art style. I grew up drawing a lot. Uh, I even had like a little stint a year or two ago where I was like drawing stuff. I wrote a comic and all that stuff, you know, to try to draw out this whole world. Mm -hmm. And then I eventually got caught up in work, so I never finished. But I really appreciate art. And I love how many art styles that are jam packed into this movie, not just because, but because it elevates the story. It changes based on which universe they're in. 
What are you squinting at me for? I'm just trying to think of whether this is actually true. I saw this movie twice in theaters. Mm -hmm. I think that is the only movie that I've seen twice in theaters. Those are fucking numbers. I know. <laughs> but I also like to save money. Yeah, that's true. I'm a podcast host, so I got to... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I also have to be making money to be able to write things off. <laughs> uh, All right. <clears throat> I so we we try and guess now. Yeah, I think you're telling the truth. Okay, I don't think you're telling the truth. Interesting. I can't. I I just I, regardless of how much I know you like Across Spider Verse because you do like that better than Into, right? I do. Yeah. It's still crazy to me. I've actually had a few friends who have just randomly texted me in the past month and been like, yo, you like Into more than Across, right? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, okay, cool. <laughs> and I'm like, that was random, but I guess cool we agree over text, but... What does that have to do with this? <laughs> that, like, there there are people out there who who think Across is not as good as Into. I yeah, feel like... I think that's the majority. Oh, okay. That like Into more. I don't know. I thought people genuinely liked the cross more than into. Not that it's bad. I feel like I just, they're pretty close, honestly. Yeah, which is but I think a testament to how good both of them are. Yeah, if but. if I had to decide where the majority is, I'd say most people are for into. Yeah, but I've always been like a cross. Man, no context. People would be so out of like, <laughs> like if they don't know the, what the yeah. movies are called. I think I would be more into, but also a cross. <laughs> it's like what is that? What does that mean? <laughs> I just can't see it being completely true that you would rewatch this film over and over and over. I feel like there's other ones that you would be able to go back to more. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like you could watch the Batman more than across on yeah, EP. I, I can't pick the Batman for every single one of these. You can't, but like that's that'd be that's a boring your episode. True answer. It, well, it could be your true answer. And you just don't want to duplicate the pick. But also based on how you talk about prisoners. Uh, can't remember another movie that I know you've you've mentioned quite a bit on the on the podcast, but like I feel like there are a few other ones. So I'm gonna say lie. Hmm. Ready? Locked Three, in. two, one, locked in. Did you tell the truth? I lied. Oh, I knew it. I just didn't say it. I, did you tell the truth? I did not. <laughs> yes. So my first like gut reaction movie that came to mind was one that I actually rewatched today, and that's Creed Three. It's my like Man. guilty pleasure. Yeah. It's always on while I'm working out. Yeah. I just love throwing that movie on. I love the cinematography. I love the action, the story. Mm -hmm. I have seen Across the Spider-Verse probably the same amount of times though. Yeah. But somehow you are able to pick up on it not being <laughs> the I, first one that came to mind. I haven't seen Creed 3, so I don't know how long it is, but I feel like Across also is longer. Uh, I think it is a little longer. I think it's, I'd want to say like two and a half hours. I think Creed is like two. Two. And it makes Creed sense three. how much you've talked about Creed 3. And it's your favorite yeah. in that trilogy. It, um, it was the first one that came to mind. I mean, there's a bunch of movies that we've seen a bunch yeah. of times, yeah. you know, but I, I literally rewatched it today. So I was like, oh, like, I'm going to say this one is the truth. <laughs> okay. So you get one point. I lose a point or all of them. What do we decide? Uh, well, I'm fine with going the whole lose a point. But since I guessed yours right and you got mine wrong, does that mean you lose a point, I gain a point, right? Yeah. Okay, let's so let's yeah. do that. So now we're back one to one. Yeah. <laughs> my uh, my actual, which I was really nervous. I was going to tell like tell the truth because I feel like I said it many times recently. I feel like I had you. <laughs> like I was telling myself that I was a lie. And then I like convinced myself like, no, nah, like it's the truth. Everything I said was true. Like, I wasn't thinking about the description. Same thing for me with yeah. the cross. I don't know how you picked up on it. <laughs> um, my actual pick would be Tenet. Oh, uh, yeah, I believe that. A lot of people would probably be like... Your truth, what? I believe, is your truth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it makes sense now. I mean, I, I watch it literally every plane yeah. flight that I take. Plane. But if we were talking about shows... Shows. It would be Avatar The Last Airbender, right? 100%. Yeah. How many times have you seen that now? 32. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to That's watch crazy. it for the 33rd time. As you should. Yeah. They're coming out with a movie, so you got to get another viewing of the season in first. I already know everything about it. I don't need to watch it again. But What's our next question? <laughs> I wish it was like, who's your favorite character in Avatar The Last? 
we're only on four and there's 30. Are we you know, part one, part two of this thing? Yeah, we're going to have to go fast. You got to leave soon. Yeah, we can continue next week. <laughs> anyway, uh, number four, the movie you quote the most. Ooh. <laughs> I feel like when I'm asked questions about movies, my brain just goes blank. Yeah, it, yeah. Blank. It's just like test taking skills. Yeah. It, it's not, I, I'm a terrible test taker. Oh, same. Um, That's why I chose to be an entrepreneur <laughs> instead of continuing in college. Yeah, I dropped out too. Uh, uh, what was the question? Oh, movie, movie quote. quote. Oh, right, right. That, or movies that you quote the most. The most. That's tough, dude, because there's, there's, ooh. I'm trying to think of, like, gifts. Yeah. That I send, you know? Man, if there was, if there was, like, shows were a part of the thing. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oi. That I quote the most. I need, like, a list of movies in front of me. We're so bad at this episode. I'm, animated is definitely in my mind, because I grew up watching a lot of animated movies. Mm. Um, like, there's a lot of animated references we've made on the episodes that I've been on with, and specifically one movie, where I feel like almost every single episode we've made a reference to it, and we all die laughing. That one's in my mind. Um, but then there's live action ones, where it's like, whether serious or comical, I have so many that I pull from at random situations. Uh... I have my pick. <laughs> I don't sound confident. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I have my pick too. So if if you're ready to rock, then I'm I'm you're ready, ready to, to roll. roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, the question is movie that you quote the most. Okay. It doesn't make sense to anyone who's watching, but it made it remade sense in my mind. Gotcha. You got I, yours? I, I got it. All right. Three, two, one. Nacho Libre. Here we go again. Come on, man. Terminator 2. Ought to be back. Silence is real. <laughs> I feel like we both made like life altering like decisions right now. Yeah. Um yeah, specific. I mean, is there other quotes from Terminator Two that you can remember? Or is it mainly that one? So you you might, from my answer that I'm about to give you, you're gonna think I'm lying. But I haven't seen Terminator Two. But this is the movie that came to mind that I quote the most. <laughs> this guy's pulling from all the movies he hasn't seen. <laughs> <laughs> because let me explain. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. <laughs> What's that from? That's a meme. I was hoping it was from like another movie that's not Nathalie Libre. Oh, it's not Nathalie Libre. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I mean, that's an iconic scene. Right. I've so seen that it. scene for my whole life. Yeah. So did I pick a movie that I haven't seen to lie to you? Or did I pick a movie that I haven't seen to make it seem like I'm lying to you? But I'm actually telling the truth, and this is the movie that came to mind that I quote the most. This dude's playing 5D chess right now. Life. Explain yours. Mine is tough. Because like I said before, everything I said was true, and I, I've i remembered less as the years go on, but I used to know that movie beat for beat, line for line, like to the point where, like I said, me and my sister could just do entire scenes back and forth between Nacho and Esqueleto. Have you seen Nacho Libre? I have not. I haven't watched movies. I don't watch movies. You heard it here. No more hate on me. I feel like I've seen more movies than Aaron. Okay, let's not get carried away now. <laughs> <laughs> have uh, you seen The Departed? Have you? Yes. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> have you seen Prisoners? I haven't. Have you seen... Um, this is making a great clip. Django. No. Have you seen Terminator 2? No. Have you seen Nacho Libre? No. Have you seen Tenet? No. I feel like yours aren't as iconic as the ones that I've mentioned. Terminator 2. I mean, that one, yeah. That one, sure. Anyways. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this is 
like I feel like a typical Cinema 3D episode right here. It literally is. Yeah. That laugh was this, straight out of this is, your show. This is why I have to cut out an hour's worth of laughter, um, which is fun in the moment. But we don't have any cuts, so this is just going to be a yeah. long episode of yeah. us BSing <laughs> our way through. Movie BS. What were we talking about? Movie quotes from Nacho Libre. Um, There's a lot. What, what, are some, what are some other quotes? From Nacho Libre? Yeah, you haven't said any of them. Anaconda squeeze. And when would you say that? <laughs> to, to, to my sister and my wife at any given moment. It doesn't have to make sense. Because it just makes sense with it not making sense. Or, save me a piece of that corn. <laughs> Whenever my wife's making corn, that's what I say. Uh... Steven! Whenever Steven comes over, I think that. I don't say because I don't know if he's seen the movie. Um, there's so many, dude. Like, Okay, okay. Yeah, you, you believe me? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Do you believe me? I'm serious. Where are you? Yeah, I feel like if people haven't watched this movie, they're going to think I'm a kook. But if you have watched this movie, you'll completely understand where I'm coming from. Hmm. Regardless of whether you hate it. All right, we should lock in our answers. We're only on number four, by the way. Uh, yeah, <laughs> my answer is locked in. Oh, yeah. So I'm, you think I'm telling truth or lying? You didn't lock in the answer. <laughs> I was saying my you answer. Locked in your pick. My pick. <laughs> we already did that a while ago. Um, I think you. I'm gonna go with your telling a lie. Hmm. Why would I pick a movie that I haven't seen? I don't know, but I just, I feel like it's a lie. I don't know, because I have one other movie that I feel like could be the actual answer. But would you actually have that as your real pick? Or are you ballsy enough to have a movie you haven't seen because of how iconic those three words are? Be your truth. But you also don't know any of the other iconic lines from that movie. So I'm calling BS. Interesting. I'm calling BS on you, too. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> Were you telling the truth? Did you lie? Did you, no, did you lie? You didn't lie? Did you lie? Oh, did I lie? I did. So I got it right. You did get it right. I lied, too. Stalemate. <laughs> I literally... No, yeah, no. Uh, my so we each gain a point and lose a point. Yeah, so we say the same. <laughs> we were like, hey, let's do these points so we don't have a low score game. Even if we lost all our points, we'd still be one away from each other. Um, I'd say mine is The Incredibles. Yes, I knew it. That's the one. What were you gonna, what's yours? It's hard because I could say The Incredibles, but I feel like it is any of the Lord of the Rings films, but specifically the first one. Especially, mm. where's my super suit? I need it. <laughs> Fly over. I'm not affiliated with you. <laughs> See, I used to know a lot of those too. In like recent years, I haven't seen it in a while, but that movie is so quotable too. Um, I've been watching Cars a lot lately, the whole trilogy, yeah. because Atlas loves it, and I love that he loves it. Yeah. And so I've been saying like, Kachiga, Kachiga. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, dude, and that's why animated movies, they just hold so much stuff in your, in yeah. your head, like nostalgia. Is and you watch them like for a long period of time. We watched yeah. those when we were kids yeah. too, you know, it also plays into, like I said, Nacho Libre and Lord of the Rings for me. So it was kind of hard for me to pick mm -hmm. the Lord of the Rings. Definitely my wife, that's one of her favorite trilogies ever. And also mine. So yeah, I feel like we do lean into saying a lot of ra stuff randomly throughout that trilogy. Like what about second breakfast? <laughs> Okay. What is that from? Is that the second one? Cars? It's, no, no, no. That's Lord of the Rings. Oh. Yeah. I got a little lost there. <laughs> I'm yeah. still talking about your actual pick. Talking about two amazing trilogies, by the way. Lord of the Rings and Cars. Anyways, what's our next one? So, so one to one still. <laughs> First movie you ever saw in the theater. I have my pick. And it's the truth. No lies here. <clears throat> You want me to say it first? Toy Story 2. How to Train Your Dragon. When did that come out? That came out a while ago, I guess. 20... Is it? 14 or... That was 2. Uh, hold on. I got this. Fact check. Fact check myself. 
So this one's a little tricky. Justin and I talked about this one before we started that we're, we're picking a movie that we honestly remember as being like our first, but maybe it wasn't because it's kind of hard to remember. But we have to decide if you picked a decoy to whichever one you believe was your first. So even when did this come out? Mine? Yeah. 2010. 2010. Mm -hmm. What so was your pick again? Toy Story 2. That was seven? No, that was three, right? Yeah, early. That was so early two thousands. Two thousand four, maybe. Yeah, let's... I think before your movie for sure. Oh wow, ninety nine, bro! You were just for a Toy Story two. You were a concept. Oh dang! <laughs> You're lying. You are lying. Yours came in twenty ten. Yeah, I was. You were way more than a concept. Wait, no. My point is that you were barely even like able to walk when Toy Story 2 came out. Yeah, but I remember it. But your first movie you saw in theater? Yeah. My first memory was when I was two years old. Wow. So this, I guess I was a little younger than I originally you have, thought. You have a like high performing child mind. I feel like at this point, they've kind of just become memories of me remembering them. But like, how if do that you, make sense? Because you were born in... in 96. 96. So let's say you're three years old. Mm -hmm. You went to the theater in 99 to go see Toy Story 2, and you remember that. Yes. Whereas... I was I, with my mom and dad. How do you remember something when you were three? I remember the experience. I don't know. I'm, I probably don't remember the movie specifically from that viewing. That's crazy. I feel like my earliest memory was probably when I was like four. <laughs> <laughs> it was of me like looking down the steps uh in our Connecticut house, but then my parents told me that we moved to Florida when I was two. So I have no clue yeah. what's real and what's not. My earliest was when I was two years old playing hide and go seek in the post office with my mom. And, and that's I have no words. The truth. I <laughs> do I figure this out? I literally thought Toy Story Two was like two thousand three or four or something like that, but Man, What's, so um, I want to say that you are dead. When were you born? 97? Yeah. So I was, I mean, 13? 2010, let's see, 2015, I graduated. So 2011, I was in nice. So I was like seventh or eighth grade, probably. Yeah, that's a pretty late for going to your first movie theater experience. Yeah. Did you guys like live in the country, like under a rock? We didn't really didn't go to the theater until you were 13, but you developed this strong love for movies. Yeah. I mean, like after I just, 13, like, yeah, I talked with, I talked with McNeil about this on his episode with uh, the purge anarchy. Like that was not the first movie I saw, but that was one of the first, like I R rated me or like really, sure. really crazy PG 13. I saw like on my own with my soccer team. And that experience propelled me into watching the entirety of the horror genre as much as I can. Whereas this experience with How to Train Your Dragon was one of the first I remember going to the theater by myself. Like, you didn't go with anyone else? Well, like with my friends, but like not my parents type of thing. Oh, and but you so, remember going with your parents beforehand? I, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, that's why I picked. I think you're lying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get my explanation. I've heard enough. <laughs> Uh, I think you're lying. There's no way you saw a movie at three in the theater and you remember that. I don't. Okay. Ready? Unless you, like, it, unless it came back to theaters, like, in the 20, in the 2000s and you were, like, you saw a re, uh, whatever you call it, like a I mean, re-release. I, I don't think so. I mean, I remember being pretty young. I didn't realize that it was three years old, but I remember <laughs> like going to the movies with my parents. Man. All right. You just don't understand because you've never seen any of the Toy Story movies. No, it's probably going to stay like that. <laughs> I've had many a person try and get me to watch those movies, and I've stayed strong to this day. Watch it with Atlas. When he gets old enough. Right now he's vibing with Cars and The Lion King, which I appreciate because I love both those movies. Anyways. Anyways. I think you're lying. You I think, think I'm... Lying. All right, ready? Three, uh -huh. two, one, locked in. I was lying. Were you? 
<laughs> I wasn't. What? <laughs> yeah. There's no way. Yeah, I genuine How to Train Your Dragon. That's one of the reasons why I, I love that movie so much. And I still haven't seen the third one, but I, I watched that one in theaters. And that was one of the first memories that I have of going to the theater with a friend slash group of friends without my parents. Because with my parents, I don't know anything that we've watched. I remember stuff at home. I don't remember like going to the theater with them until after I had already gone to see this movie. Because in 2012, 2013, So I lost because your memory is bad. I mean, this That's is crazy. genuinely the first one that I That's think... That's crazy. It's crazy. I... I, I because my I first... Because your memory is good? <laughs> yeah, my first movie that I remember seeing in theaters is Monsters, Inc. And that came out in 2001. Oh. So I wasn't that much older. I was, what, five? <laughs> That makes more sense. Because I, I, I always thought like after... Yeah, it does make more sense that you're five years old and remember your first movie rather than being 13. I never, Do you not remember anything before you were a teenager? I like never w did anything. Like I just did no, sports. No, I'm sad for you. I, I did sports, went to school, and I like played games at home. All right. Like I, I didn't really branch out or like, you know, we just had a hard time trusting people. <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> that type of family. <laughs> but yeah, right. no, I'm, I'm, I'm being honest with that one. Uh, I believe you. I, I believe so the points are now zero for me <laughs> and two for you. A High scoring game here. Amen. Wow, this we got to like rapid fire at these. <laughs> yeah. First movie you ever bought. I literally don't even like remember. Personally? Yeah. I know, like, I whatever I say is not going to be like definitive because I know I, I can't remember the actual first one, but yeah, I'll try and think of like. All right, I got the one that I think is true, locked in. What about you? And this isn't I, like your parents bought it for you, right? It's no, like I, you bought. Yeah. All right. This would have been a DVD back then for me, but uh, I feel like I have the one that I bought first, so I'm gonna lock that one in. And I haven't even said it yet, but it's... You want me to say it? Yeah, I'll, I'll lock mine in too. Go. Okay, Tron Legacy. No. -uh. That was mine. Instantly, now it feels like I'm lying. Instantly calling truth. <laughs> I don't know. I think I got it on iTunes. <laughs> I don't think I like bought I, like a physical I copy a, of it. I bought a DVD because I remember taking the disc out and it was shaped like the disc in the uh obviously because it's a circle but like it had the same like imprint oh, on yeah, it yeah and i used to like act like i was yeah i'm breaking it i'm pretty sure i got this on itunes and it was probably like yeah. right around the same time that like i got my first ipod kind of thing you know so like well, like that's the thing too you don't really buy movies as much as i can't I think of another movie that i bought yeah i don't know i'll, I'll okay, by the time movie. i like Moved out on my own. There was already like streaming services and stuff. So yeah. like, I just did those. Red and even then, I didn't the buy. Day. Yeah, Redbox. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you a but truth you, on this. You one. buy a bunch. Yeah, I mean, I really started. I started with DVDs back in the day, but it was every now and then because I didn't have a job at that time. So like, yeah. it was just gift money. Do we really have a job now, though? <laughs> Somehow, <laughs> money gets into our account. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right, well, I'm going truth on yours. I'm going truth on yours. Lock it in. Yep. I was telling truth. I was telling the truth. I mean, as far as I'm aware, uh, yeah, I thanks. can't think of any other movie that it would be. All right, so that's uh, one and one. One and one. So you're at three now. Mm -hmm. Worst movie in a film franchise you love? Oh. I feel like it'd be so much easier if we had, if we just decided what franchise we we're talking about. Like if we, if we just say like MCU or something, it's a big franchise, mm -hmm. but like we can. Okay. So you want to like lock it into yeah, just the MCU? It's just too hard if we, yeah. So, so the, our least favorite MCU movie, basically. What movie, worst movie in a, in the MCU, but you, us love it. Oh, oh, okay. So basically like a guilty pleasure for us. Yeah. Yeah. I got mine. Yeah, I got mine. Eternals. Et <laughs> Eternals, I'm calling truth on that. I'm calling truth on yours, and you're calling truth on mine. 
Yep, we've had this argument before. <laughs> we talked about it a little bit on uh, our 100th episode. <laughs> so we both know that we're telling the truth there. <laughs> All right. Let's go. You guys um, need to re it. Locking that in, right? We're both telling the truth? Yep. All right, we each get a point. Boom. Bada bing, 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 bing. All right, next one. Most overrated movie. Ooh, this one's going to get some hate. If I tell the truth, that is. Most overhated or most overrated? <laughs> most overrated movie. And the next one is most underrated movie, by the way. Mm. I'm going with what I've seen. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm too. <laughs> but I got to pick one that like... Because I have ones that I like. Mm -hmm. But I just maybe don't like them as much as other people. I want to go with one that like, like I, I don't like, I but genuinely... everyone else Yeah, that's loves. what I'm trying to lean towards, just to piss people off. I really need, like, a list of movies in front of me. Do you have, like, do, do, you, do you use Letterbox like I use the Q app thing? No. Shout out to Q app. Oh. I mean, I, I just, like, log which ones I watch. Okay. Um, I mean, I got some in mind, but do I want to get killed? <laughs> That's the question. So it's most overrated movie. Yeah. No holds bar. We should have like narrowed down this whole thing to just the MCU so it's easier to think of our answers. <laughs> we could continue with that if you want. <laughs> or just Disney. I don't know. Oh, man. Overrated movie that you... That would definitely make it easier for the rest of this list. We had some fun in the beginning, but, you know, to make things easier. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. Uh, you want to go with all movies or just MCU? All movies. Oh, man. I, like, almost had one, and then it just slipped away. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the movies that I, like, hate. That's this is also cool. overrated. But yeah, this is like really tough on the spot. We really should have like done our homework first. <laughs> uh, I mean, I got, I got to pick. Yeah, I need to pick something too. I'm no, going... I'm like, I have oh, to like, pick. <laughs> I got to pick. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> I see what you're saying. I understand. Well, why don't you? Say yours mm -hmm. and talk about it while I look for a movie here. Okay. I'm just going through my least favorite movies and just making sure I'm not completely whiffing this pick. I think this makes sense. Yeah. So I'm going to go with Jaws. I say Jaws is overrated. Most overrated movie. Now, does that mean... Oh, hold on. Most overrated movie, yeah. Um, doesn't necessarily mean that I think it's the worst movie ever made. You just hate older movies. I No, I don't. I do like a lot of them, but I also don't like a lot of them. I yeah. just, <laughs> it was so hyped up. And when I watched it, I was like, yeah, it's, it's a shark movie. It was probably one of the first ones. Like, other than that, yeah, it's tough because I feel like a lot of older movies are held at such a high esteem because they were some of the first to ever do it. But then other movies like that come out later that I typically like better, mm -hmm. you know? it's a t Yeah, it's a touchy subject all around because I completely see both sides and I am a part of both sides with different films in mind. Like when you're talking about Romulus, per se. I think Romulus is probably the second best in the franchise. I do think Alien is my favorite. So there's an example of the original still being better for me than the new one. Yeah. But then when you're talking Batman, Dark Knight's the best for me. And then after that, it's Begins or the Batman. So those are three new entries versus the OG's 89. So, but in Jaws' case, I mean, it's. I've only seen Jaws and I've seen The Meg and I've seen The Meg 2 and like Under Paris, which I really don't care for any shark movie ever anyway. But like, you can't be comparing The Meg those to are the Jaws. Only, those are the only ones I've seen. Like, I mean, 
And then like the recent buzz with Under Paris, who are like, oh, this is the best movie since Jaws. It's like that's a marketing no. point. No. But I, I like saw people reviews, which I granted they could have been paid, but like still I watched that movie and I was like, it's a movie. Like, stop acting like this is the best thing since sliced bread because it's ruining my experience when I get when I see those things and I'm like, oh, I gotta check this out. And then I watch it and it's just absolute dog poopy caca. And you're upset because it didn't live up to Jaws. It didn't live up to the hype of its reviews. I don't think Jaws is anything to write home about. That's just me. I know that's a super, super hot take. Maybe I just don't like shark movies. <laughs> I don't know. But like, I like other older movies. Like, I love 89 now. I love the classic 90 or 77 Star Wars. I love Empire. I love The Shining. I mean, that's like really my know. second favorite movie of all time. I forgot for that we were, lying I forgot or? I was trying to like get you to believe me but like i i jaws is the jaws is the one that i've gotten the most hate for whenever i say something like this so it had to be that one you want to hear mine is i forgot i haven't heard yours pulp fiction i only got halfway through the movie and i was like yep that's enough for me (laughs) Uh, yeah quentin tarantino isn't my i don't I don't connect with his style as much as everyone else. Acquired taste. Yeah. And I, not my taste. (laughs) You're not that guy. (laughs) But but this movie was one of the movies from him that I just stopped watching halfway through. Uh, It's a little bit older of a movie as well. So I just thought the pacing was a little bit slow. Felt like not a lot was really happening. Mm -hmm. And I, didn't really like the way that it was like edited together and the and the different shots chapters. and stuff yeah. yeah so i get that that'll be mine but that one's held like high esteem. really high yeah. yeah same with john I, I think both of these films are like it's i don't know yeah. it all comes down to personal taste because i watched pulp fiction a second time and i was like what did i miss the first time because the first time i hated it mm. Jaws, I haven't watched a second time, but when I do, I, I, don't, I really don't think I'm going to like it. If I can't get through it on the first time, it's very hard for me to go back and like try to actually watch it again. There has to be some time in between, yeah. for sure. Like I can't do it within a matter yeah. of like three, six months. It has to be like a year or two years. <laughs> I tried watching it this year. So, <laughs> bro, what is it here? dude, you're knocking out Iron Man over there. It says I win. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to call truth on you. I'm going to call truth on you. Three, two, one. I told the truth. Me too. (laughs) We're just too good at at describing the truth. (laughs) Oh, man. Our point system thing is not great. But it's okay. The Oscars are flat Justin five, Aaron three. uh, For those of you who are trying to keep track. What's our next one? What time do you got to leave, man? I mean, I live so far away from here. Yeah. Um, Let's wrap it. Rapid fire. Okay. What's the next one? Most underrated movie. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I have one in recent years that I always think about since I watched it the most recently that I I did not hear good things about and also haven't heard enough about that I'm going to say. Here's my pick. Okay. And that is Malignant. What is that? It's a horror movie by James Wan. came out like... I think it was yes, it is underrated. <laughs> I haven't even heard of it. It was twenty twenty films. Yeah, twenty twenty one. So it was like on coming out of COVID, so yeah. it didn't really get its time to shine. But I'd say Malignant is my pick for most underrated. Mine is Fury. I love that movie so much. I just watched it this past year, last mm-hmm. few months, and it instantly became one of my favorite films of all time. And I feel like I haven't heard like really anyone talk about it. Mm-hmm. until like i watched it and started bringing it up to everyone yeah yeah <laughs> you remember when i watched it and i was talking about yeah. it at the office You're like, like non stop <laughs> like why haven't more people seen this movie watch this movie and talk about this movie you know yeah. seen and watch are the same thing i don't know why i said that <laughs> you can see the poster yeah. but if you watch it it's this one's tough i think you picked a really good one because I've seen a lot of people talk about Fury over since it's come out. I think really? it's, I think it was 2014. Yes. So it's been around for a decade now. I I've, I've seen it a lot through my feeds, but I know feeds can be different. So Yeah, I have not seen it around my 
speech. <laughs> I did but not I, commit the crime. <laughs> I, we we never did an episode on this, but yeah. my scores for this would be really high in the six categories that we ranked. And Andrew did watch this film too, mm-hmm. and we never did an episode on it. You know, so like that's underrated right there because yeah. Andrew wasn't like as excited as I was to yeah. talk about this film. Yeah. I've watched a few of his movies that he recommended and then we did episodes on and then he was upset. I didn't like it as much as him. Bro, so I didn't get that opportunity. Is that Django? Yeah, Django. <laughs> the Departed. There's been a few. Uh, some stuff. I will say you are telling a lie. Really? Yeah. Okay. I think you're telling the truth. Look. Are you? Are we locking in? Yeah. Locked in. I'm telling the truth. Or I told the truth. <laughs> I'm telling the truth. Um, I lied. <laughs> I do believe everything I said, but I think there's a movie that I think is more underrated than Fury. What would that be? Because everything I said about Fury is true. Like, I haven't heard anyone talk about it. Yeah. Other than when I've initiated the conversation and maybe less, probably less than half of the people I've talked to them about it have seen it. Mm-hmm. And everyone I have seen it said that, yeah, it's a good movie. But they haven't been in love with it like I have. The most underrated movie, I think, is one that I haven't heard anybody ever talk about. <laughs> but I love this movie and I rewatched it this year. And I was like, yep, this is still really good. And that is Need for Speed. Oh, wow. I've never seen that. Yeah, you should. It's good. (laughs) I guess that makes sense that it's underrated. (laughs) It's got Aaron Paul, Michael Keegan. um, Michael Keegan? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rami. um, Rami Malek? Yes. Yeah. He's in it, too. Um, Mustangs are my favorite car, so I'm maybe a little biased towards the subject matter because the main car in the movie is... Well, do you play the game? Because those, those games back in the day were like... The, every day. The, yeah. Yeah, every day. Uh, but I think the movie itself is also a good movie. Yeah. Um, I really like the story, the cinematography. The, yeah, it's great. It's a lot of fun. It's like a, a fun movie that doesn't take itself too seriously, mm-hmm. but it's not like a comedy or anything. You know, like it's got... They're trying to actually like accomplish something here, and it's got a emotional twist in there as well. So like, they play on the heartstrings a little bit too. Yeah. But then you have awesome car scenes. Yeah. It's like Fast and Furious, but good. Oh yeah! As soon as it came out, I was like, I like this better than any Fast and Furious movie I've seen. What was that like in the 2010s? I think it came out 14. Man, so that's, that's yeah. pretty same year as Fury. Yeah, and no one's talked about it. Yeah, I have not seen anything about that. Gosh, so you're you're climbing away because you keep telling the truth. And I'm over here just lying. <laughs> so do I, I lose a point? If you guessed wrong, you lose a point. But I guess right. So I just stay. You guess right? You yeah, guess right. I said you were telling the truth. Yeah, okay. And then you guessed my lie. So I, I just so stay. I, yeah, you just stay. Okay. Uh, rapid fire. We're not rapid fire in here, but we'll get there eventually, guys. How do we rapid fire? Yeah, I don't know. Well, I think. I'm, All right, what's the next one? Favorite movie genre, and the one after that is least favorite movie genre. All right, I can do this one. Ready? Okay. Yeah, I got my pick. Favorite movie genre? Thriller. Horror. I believe you. Truth. You said thriller? Yeah. I believe you. Are you locking it in? I am locking it in. All right, I'm telling truth. I am lying. What? <laughs> No, you're not. Science fiction. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Good decoy, though. Sci-fi is the one that reigns true, but horror is, like, literally right there. So do you get one point or two? I lied. You guessed wrong, so I get one from that. No, you lose one for guessing wrong. And you I guessed up. right. Yeah, so I get one. Man. Every single time we're like... So am I losing one? You guessed wrong for me. Yes. I guessed right for you. So you lose a point for guessing wrong. I gain a point for guessing correct. So yes, you lose one. I think it's safe to say that you're going to win. Uh, Ooh, I'm at two. Game. He's at seven. Least favorite movie genre? Horror. Western. No. Can I change mine? Comedy. Oh, it's a good pick. Good pick. 
comedy and final answer that's that's what it is do, 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 do. i said horror too fast yeah <laughs> you just got pissed at my <laughs> my pick uh least favorite movie genre uh western mm. that's mm. a genre right yeah i'd say so yeah you don't like true grit never seen it <laughs> i don't know too many other westerns <laughs> off the top of my head <laughs> Um, do you believe me? Let's start there. I think you are bluffing. Really? Calling BS. I literally changed my answer to this right in front of you because I knew it was more of the truth than horror. I know, but I still say say BS. <laughs> I think you're telling the truth. Okay, lock right. it in. Yep. And I told the truth. Me too. Yes. All right, you get one. Close. Don't call it a comeback, baby. <laughs> Everybody gets one. All right, so I'm at three. You're at six. Yes. Okay, now we have two that are very similar. Yep. First one is the actor or actress you'll always watch. And the mm -hmm. next one is the actor or actress you'll never watch again. So okay, first one, one that you'll always watch. One that you'll always watch, actor or actress. I am going with... I don't know. <laughs> uh, I have two on the top of my mind that yeah, I would follow to the end of the earth. I'm going to go with... I guess you got to kind of pick the first one that... Yeah. In your mind. Because I had I had three that came to my mind. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm going. I'll go with it. Say it. Christian Bale. I am going to say Matt Damon. Oh, this is hard. Um, I think you are... <laughs> that was creepy. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Explain what you're thinking here, sir. I just, like, I could see a world where, yes, Matt Damon is your first pick, but I could also see a world where there's someone else that I may not just know the name that would be higher than Matt Damon as far as like the true pick. Matt Damon is that actor for me because when I was a kid, the Bourne trilogy was everything to me. I used to think I was a spy because of that trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> I also really uh, kind of fell in love with like storytelling and acting with him like he was like that first movie star that i discovered you know i watched the the born series and then i went over to oceans and then i just like slowly started watching all of his filmography and he was that first actor for me that i like sought out his movies to watch and catch up on because as a kid i wasn't allowed to watch a lot of things and he was that first yeah one that i started so because of that like connection from when i was a kid i'll ride and die with that guy have you seen The Martian? Yeah. Obviously Interstellar. Yep. Spoilers. <laughs> yeah, I think I was the one that said that last time. Yeah. <laughs> Full circle. Uh, I True will... Grit. Be, that explains it. Um, I'll go with a... I'm going to go with truth. I can't. I can't. I think you're lying. You seem defeated. You're either acting really well right now or I caught you. I think you're telling the truth and you think I'm lying. Yeah. Ready okay. to lock it, lock it in? Yeah, lock it All in. All right. I was telling the truth. No, you <laughs> weren't. Come on. It's totally Leo and you know it. No. That was, that was the third pick. The first what? was Bale. The second one was Hugh Jackman and the third was Leo. Get because, out of here. Really, I've only seen Inception. You're lying to yourself. No, I've only seen Inception and I've seen The Revenant. That's all you've seen? With him. Oh my gosh, I guess you're right. I haven't seen... So who's your... I mean, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Christian Bale? Christian Bale. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen the most Damn. movies out of those three actors from Bale. And I just feel like because of the... F I never explained it, why I picked him, which probably would have helped your case. But like, he is probably the number one person in my mind and I feel like in a lot of people's minds that transforms into the roles that he plays 
and that adds so much to all of his performances. And I yeah. believe everything he's yeah. doing on screen. Honestly, yeah. a huge reason why I had Hugh Jackman at second was because of the prestige, <laughs> um, but also the range with him. But yeah. Bale. When I, I said mean, I had two that came to mind, it was Hugh Jackman and Matt Damon. Shout out to Hugh. Yeah. He's always on our minds. Hugh, Even though I uh, Will Smith. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, there's there's quite a few up there. Yeah. That I would. I don't. I'm not, this question wasn't who's like the best actor, right? It's like who you would follow who, the most. Though. Who we yeah. would watch like everything from. Okay. And who's the actor that we would never avoid? Watch yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm alone in this, but I know my wife also agrees with me. So she's a woman. And like that gives me some, also not here. some extra umph. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty confident her name is Jennifer Coolidge. Yeah, she's very annoying. <laughs> and I'm honestly mainly thinking from The Watcher. That was like the first and only thing I've seen her in. Never want to see her in anything ever again. That was a good show though, right? The show was great. She just annoyed the crap out of I me. just rewatched that show this year with my sisters. So good. It's so good. I yeah. love that show. Yeah. I, I really wish they she was crazy, but... extremely annoying. I feel like ever since watching that show, I've started to see her in more things yeah. that I've never even noticed before. Like I, I was and like, it makes no. me so frustrated. I <laughs> wish like, I never watched The Watcher. I didn't know who this was <laughs> until The Watcher, and now I see her everywhere. She was on this like commercial for yeah. during football season. <laughs> and I would see her every Sunday, and I was like, please, like, no, Lord. Please get off. <laughs> Turn it off. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't if know what it lying, is. If you're this was an excellent pick. I, I don't know. Even no, still. I, I'll tell you. I'm telling the truth. Well, yeah. I guess that's what I have to tell you to make you yeah, believe. The, 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 the guy who came to my mind is Jared Leto. Please stop casting that guy in movies. He's good, I, dude. He can, he can be good. I loved the first Tron. It was, to my knowledge, the first movie that I bought. <laughs> oh, like the... Tron Legacy. Tron Legacy, yeah. But I am. It isn't the first Tron. Yeah, it's the first Tron I've saw. I haven't seen the original, but I heard it was absolute bad. I did see the original after the the first one. After Legacy. <laughs> the second one. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I really like that movie, and now he's casted in Tron 3. Just wait. And that makes me really disappointed. Listen. He was the worst part of Blade Runner. He. Who is worse than him in Blade Runner? I don't think anyone was bad. In that movie, I think everything about that movie is phenomenal. Well, then my statement could still be true, even I, with I your guess, definition. But like, I feel like you could say like the the dead tree was the worst part of the movie. I don't know. Like the yeah, that's been cast in a bunch of other movies that you don't want to see. I mean, if it's because Dan, of him, if it, if we're talking about Dan Brown, it could be because the CGI is too good; it takes you out of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Um, well, I don't know. I thought Jared Leto in Blade Runner twenty forty nine, he did a good job. Uh, Do you like him in Morbius? I haven't seen Morbius. Um, because you're avoiding him. No. I've seen, okay, things I've seen with him, Blade Runner 2049, obviously, Suicide Squad, anything in the DCU that he shows up in, and um, Rec Room for a Dream. I don't I don't like him as a person. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's what. That plays a huge factor. Um, yeah. There's some other people that I get that, I get that way with. Like, I just. He just seems creepy to me. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're telling the truth. I think, and if you're not, I totally agree with your pick. <laughs> I think you're telling the truth, and if you're not, I totally disagree with your pick. If I'm not telling the truth, regardless of whether you the truth or lie, I disagree with it. <laughs> Lock it in. Words locked in. Truth. Truth. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. I really thought you were going to pick Jennifer Coolidge too, because I feel like we had a conversation about that back in the day. I didn't remember her name until you. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to just lock her out of my brain, you know. You did a good job. Uh, I'm keep going. If you have time, yeah, I got time. <laughs> uh, okay, so last movie you how many, saw? How many do we got left? We're halfway. Dang, last. we might have to wrap it up soon. Okay. I mean, last movie. Let's let me know if you want to do this one, or if we could just skip until we find one that's Ooh, enjoyable. Okay. Last movie you saw on its theatrical release, because I feel like you literally just saw like two movies, and I just saw one that we all know what we saw. 
Yeah, we so, we all know that one. Yeah. What was it? Alien? Romulus, yeah. yeah. Uh, Wait. Did I see another movie after that? I feel like you saw no. Trap, right? Or no, you yeah, saw it before. I didn't see Trap. Oh, I didn't end up going. Oh. Yeah. So it was probably Romulus then. Yeah. Um, the movie... Ooh, this one might be good. The movie you thought you'd hate but loved. Ooh. Okay. Or we could skip to the next one. No, here. we can do that one. Okay. <laughs> Movie I thought I'd hate that I loved. Oh, oh man. I feel like there's five things we already mentioned. I got it. Say. Wow. I got to think for a little bit. This one's tough. Um, it's hard to recall like these kind of questions like that. But for mine, it's it's a movie that happened kind of recently. Mm -hmm. So it's fresh in my mind. And I remember going into it not nearly as excited as i was leaving yeah. uh, the movie so you might need to say because i need to think i need to look at my all right i'll go ahead and say mine mine is actually alien romulus uh, because the week before it came out we did a recap on the alien franchise with andrew and Schatz. you can check that video out um and in preparation for that i watched the first three alien movies back to back to back Mm -hmm. and it was so hard to get through <laughs> those three movies for me. Um, I thought the first two were decent. The pacing's definitely not how all movies are today, so it was kind of hard to like stay engaged. I feel like it's harder for me to watch older, slower movies when I'm by myself because my focus tends to wander, yeah. you know? Um, so, yeah, I wasn't super excited and then i watched alien 3 and i was like this is where i stop with this franchise and i'm yeah. only going to the theater because andrew wants to cover this movie yeah and then i watched it and i was like this is fantastic yeah um speaking of andrew i think he's here at my house ready to shower so let me go let him in yep <laughs> you gotta talk to the audience right here though okay uh, don't, can't be boring maybe you talk about what your pick is and if you're gonna lie or not okay yeah because you won't be able to see until the edit <laughs> My actual pick is Monty Python and the Holy Grail. I don't know why I'm whispering, but I can't trust Aaron. Monty Python and the Holy Grail is my actual pick. But I'm going to go with Plane Trains and Automobiles. But yeah, I think... Oh, I just made my decision. <laughs> so my quiet the whole time no i was whispering to myself <laughs> whispering <laughs> yes or no one can hear it but like no i was like very close I, okay it was a conversation with the yeah, audience SMR. but yeah kind of. you know right. uh i am going with planes trains and automobiles it's a comedy film we had we made back in the day when i was single and we were all single we made a like full-on comedy central list just like we did with horror we did with superhero and we went to them in like a month. Each month was a different category. And Sam, this is one of his favorite films ever. So he put it on there. And I kind of fought with him a little bit because nothing about this movie excited me. <laughs> the poster looked cheesy. Steve Martin was in it, John Candy, both of which I had like never seen a movie with them in um, until Comedy Central. Then they popped up like four times each. And when I watched it... uh. At the, at the very end, I think right when the credits rolled, I looked at Sam and I was just like, basically my eyes were saying, I'm so sorry for base, for like trying to get you to not include this on the list because uh, it was one of the best movies I've ever seen. And at one point I had it in my top 10, but now it's, it, it wow. is in my top 20, which is crazy because it's a comedy, but it's got so much. I haven't seen this. You should watch it. I mean, you, you might... My least favorite genre, I remember. Yeah, it's comedy, but it, it has a huge overarching feel of trying to get home. Yeah. So that's kind of the thing I didn't expect from it. I thought I was going to be happy-go-lucky. Like, oh, oh you're top ding, 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 ding. not anymore. In your top 20. Top 20, yeah. I think Is it has that been. a lie? We never that's did a, your top a, 20 episode, did we? I don't think you did. So I can't either. rely on that <laughs> information. No, based on the last time I edited my list, it was in the top 20. I think it was between 20 and 15 um granted if i do end up watching some of these movies that i still haven't seen like 
recent times that mentioned by you, Andrew, McNeil, whatever. Everyone in the Discord. Everyone in the Discord. You should join, by the way, yeah. whoever's listening. It's great. Me and, me and Aaron were just arguing earlier. We were arguing. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I think that one is the one that comes to mind when we were talking about uh, something that I really thought I was just not going to like, and okay. I did. So do you believe me? What was your pick? Alien Romulus. Remember? I didn't like the Alien franchise so much. I think I believe you. I think you're telling the truth. I think I believe you, but I want to say you're lying. <laughs> but I think I believe you. So you think well. you, you know. I'll, when, I'll I, know I, I know you're telling the truth. I think you're telling the truth. You want to lock it in? Yeah. All right. Are you telling the truth? Yes. <laughs> Were you? Nope. Oh, my God. <laughs> I hate this game. I don't even know what that means for the score points, but you're in the lead by a lot. I don't know if this is right or wrong. I think I have 10 and you have... I just gave you nine. You get... Let's not worry about the points. Okay. Not yeah. the points. We need probably, to rethink our point system here. Probably just pick like not one or in two, two more minutes. <laughs> but yeah, it, my actual pick was Monty Python and the Holy Grail. That is one that like no intention of ever watching until someone showed it i think it was janae she showed it to me and i was like i don't want to watch this movie and then i watched it and i was like wow this movie is incredible all right go ahead for the next question i'm frustrated aaron's mad <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry now we're back to beefing uh you're doing i'm trying to see if there's anything that's stupid or not yeah let's pick like one more Maybe. okay i'll rapid list them and you tell oh. me which one you want to do okay Favorite movie growing up, movie you liked as a kid but realized as an adult it was horrible, movie that reminds you of someone, movie you would consider your guilty pleasure, we already kind of did that one, movie you've seen the most in theaters, the movie you've watched the most, movie that starts off great but ends terribly, mm. movie character that still creeps you out, movie that's the most scared you've ever been watching a movie, the most you've ever laughed watching a movie, um, the movie that you want to watch but haven't gotten around to yet. Ooh, let's do that one because I feel like that could be a number of answers. Yeah, for me. Well, yeah, I guess for both of us. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Okay, so movie we haven't watched but we want to see. This is like this is the most subjective one because we have yeah. way too many. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we should write the truth yeah, one down. Write the truth one down. That way right. we we have no intention of like. I'll uh, I'll write it on my phone here. Okay. Okay, the movie that I haven't seen that I really want to see. I've uh, not seen a lot of movies here. <laughs> so picking one that I haven't. I feel like the people watching the show that have seen the show a lot are like yelling at both of us right now. of Like which movies <laughs> that should be that we should be watching. <laughs> They're like, Aaron, you have to see this movie. And it's like, eventually. Yeah. No, I mean, <laughs> when, when the time is right. <laughs> okay. I movie that I really want to see that I just haven't. Hmm. That does <laughs> change things. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this from the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy. He's naked. Turn the camera. Turn the camera. <laughs> You guys want to see this gnarly sunburn on my back? Put it on the camera. Oh, God, oh boy. This episode is all over. Oh, jeez. Oh, what are the lines? Were you supposed to Sunscreen. No, I, I genuinely don't know. <laughs> did you put sunscreen on? Like... I did when I started mowing my lawn, and then I found the problem with the leak. So then oh, I got caught up with that, and I didn't put on a second round of sunscreen. I was just out there so long. Originally, I wasn't wearing a shirt, but then I put a shirt on. I don't know how the lines are there. But you put like... sunscreen on. Originally. So maybe That's you were just crazy. right too close. You just got this line of. She's like. She's trying to write her name in there. When it comes to the editing, I just want to report the name. Okay. Movie you want to watch but haven't gotten around to yet. So so we want to watch it. Yes. Not it's being told that we need to watch it. Right. That changes my answer. So basically, it's one that we've been told that we need to see, but we actually do want to see it. Yes. Okay. That That does change my answer quite a bit. Um, what movie have I, do I need to see that I actually do want to see? 
<laughs> There's a lot of thinking in this episode. I wish we would have uh, had this idea sooner <laughs> like so we could write it down our answer. <laughs> just a thousand times. <laughs> okay. Um, oof, no. Do, 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 do. All right, go ahead and pick yours. <laughs> Still looking. <laughs> Still looking. Um. Okay. I. I. Yeah. I can. Uh. Can I? I'm talking amongst myself again. A movie that I really want to see that I haven't seen yet. If I haven't seen it, it's probably because I don't want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> like that's the thing. Facts. <laughs> Should we do a different one? <laughs> <laughs> um, does it have to have already come out, or can it be something that hasn't come out yet? <laughs> we should pick a different one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, let's go. There's the movie with the best soundtrack. Um. The next movie you'll watch, which is very, like, not solid. Um, those are, like, the last two that I have that I didn't already run through to see as, as options. There's another one that says a movie that made you think, but I feel like every movie can make you think. <laughs> it would have to be a Nolan movie. Yeah. We did the one that you hate but then loved. That's mm -hmm. the last one we did, right? Yeah. Um, it was a movie, movie you thought you'd hate but loved. What about um, least favorite franchise? Let's do it. Uh, or favorite franchise. Which one would you prefer? Let's do favorite. Favorite? Yeah. Okay. And franchise, are we determining this as anything more than three movies or anything three movies or, or three or more? I say three or more. Three or more. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, I got uh, got my answer. We're doing favorite? Yep. Yeah. All right, tell me your answer. <laughs> favorite franchise will be Lord of the Rings. I believe you. <laughs> um, mine would be Captain America. Do you count that? I think that would be MCU. Yeah, but it's like specifically the three Captain America movies. All right. I'll count it. Uh, I think you are lying. I think you're telling the truth. I know you're telling the truth. You know I'm telling the truth. You uh, I think you're talk about the Lord of the Rings quite a bit. Yeah. I'm. You gotta well, keep in consideration too that the franchise. It's like the Hobbit movies are included in that as well. Um, oh. And I guess that's what makes Captain America a little bit hard. Oh, so then the MCU. Okay. I think you're telling the. No, I think you're lying still. Really? Yeah. I'm curious what you think is my actual favorite. Lock it in. Yeah, we can lock it in. Okay. I was telling the truth. Me too. Even though I'm winning. There's so many of I the MCU like, movies that I Yeah, love. but I, I don't know. I felt like I haven't seen any, any of them, but like the, the, Bourne, the Bourne franchise, I feel like you like more, more of them than you don't. Um, I think I like those a lot because of nostalgia. Yeah. I think they're also fantastic. Yeah. Movies. I guess that's, well, that's another really one too. The MCU was can, the I first can, one yeah. that like popped in my mind that it's like, yeah, like this is for Captain is, America specifically. You probably do like a lot more than you hate from that. It's just the recent years yeah. have been lacking like crazy. Right. Well, you get the dub on that one. Um, but I think I still we, we did say at the end right whoever wins the last round wins the whole game we right? didn't say that no like kind of last shot to make it wins <laughs> running back <laughs> Jay fact check Aaron please <laughs> our um our point system needed to be worked out a little better after every single <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah Justin uh, 
cleared the board with me. I was just a very He's good... a better liar, truth teller than I am. I th well, I think, yeah, you guessed wrong a lot, but I also guessed correctly on yours a lot, which I don't know if that tells that I'm a better liar or that I'm a better detective. Better friend. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, thanks so much for watching this episode. It was great to have Dustin on. Andrew's back in the corner. <laughs> He's not dead after all. <laughs> oh, that joke was great. <laughs> what joke? <laughs> yeah, you'll see it later. <laughs> this episode, I just turned off my camera and turned it back down. All right, we're good. This is probably the worst episode we've ever done. Since I wasn't there. But. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here 30 minutes after my original time was posted. So whatever they say, 30 minutes, guys. We can't hear you. You don't have a microphone. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Watch watching. It's like I was trying to do the intro. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot. Let's just end it there, guys.